fellow Guardians of Destiny, if you're still around in Destiny, which I know a lot of you are, um, today I want to look at some of the stuff we could see coming from the Queen and stuff that has been confirmed from the Queen in the new House of Wolves uh, DLC coming out here in, what is it, 17 days? I think it's 19th that comes out. Uh, basically just going over some of the stuff that I got from Queen's Wrath when the game came out. It was one of the first public events after Iron Banner and all that other stuff. Uh, as far as Rose Gold, the Shader, uh, a lot of people still playing it. I mean, some people got into it. They gave, went up to Queen's Wrath, you know, public event, because people were like, oh, this is really good. And then they kind of dropped out. You know, they were like, it's repetitive and stuff like that. And I'm not big into, like, massive multiplayer online role-playing games as far as the grinding and all that other stuff. But Destiny's kind of got me hooked, and it's it's really nice. But... What I really wanted to talk about was her right hand, and that is the auto rifle from the Queen that you got in uh, the uh, Queen's Wrath event. And it's really nice, but as you can see, it's a rare auto rifle. It's not a legendary. Now, in House of Wolves, we don't know, because it wasn't in the Reef reveal, if it's going to make a comeback, and if it's still going to be rare. I would suggest, since it's an end game, or not suggest, but assume that it is a legendary auto rifle so to me having her right hand uh as a rare auto rifle instead of a legendary it's kind of like one of those things where it's like mm, yeah but mine's rare and yours is legendary i don't know it won't make a difference but i think it's kind of cool and stuff like that but i've been using it in the crucible uh it's really nice in the crucible actually i mean you can't really use it in kind of the end game content because you know the attack rate's a little low as it for it being a, a rare auto rifle but the stability on it and even hit fire is nice I don't you know I don't know a lot of people do hit fire but if you aim down the sights it's got a really nice stability to it and a nice I don't want it's not as slow as Ciro's you know when you do the hit fire upgrade um, it's a little bit hot a little bit faster so you're not you're not getting as much impact but you know, you still get a little nice walk up from the chest to the head when you're doing it in the Crucible. The only other gun I could think about would be Abyss Defiant and using, you know, the auto rifle and stuff like that. And switching between the hip fire and the focus fire, which is really nice, by the way. If you're looking for a Suros um, replacement, that's nice because you can switch. You know, you got your PvE and then you got your PvP mode, so you can switch back and forth. Um, Abyss Defiant's a little bit more tighter as far as the you know spread um but it's it's uh what do you call it uh hip fire is a little bit more spread out than the Suros. so you give and take you know left and right but again i'm really excited for queen to be coming back or you know her aide to come back uh and i'm excited to go to the reef uh i want to know what you guys think what you guys think is going to be in the reef? I mean, we've seen a lot already. It's been two reveals. Um, I don't know if I like that. I wanted I wanted to be able to just jump jump in and see everything at once, and not really you know be more surprised. Um, but as far as everything else, I'm more Control. more like interested to see if the Bravo Queen's team. auto rifle comes back. You know, and what it will be. It'll probably be legendary auto rifle. Um, I know this one won't get upgraded. I, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be doing, you know, light level increases and stuff like that for rare stuff or like that. I'm sure it's just uh, raid gear and raid weapons and stuff like that. But in the Crucible, uh, this weapon's nice. As long as you're persistent about, let's say, I don't know, if you're short range to mid range. If you're persistent, make your shots count and make the other person miss, you're probably going to win that fight. Uh, long range, it's really nice. If you can shut down the lane, like on that Earth map, uh, on the left-hand side, if you're spawning from the underneath uh, A point on control, you can shut down that whole left side with grenades and, you know, the auto rifle because it's got a long, long reach to it. Like I said, though, the the short to mid-range is, is a give and take. You don't really know whether you're going to come out on top or not, which kind of kind is interesting. It plays to a certain play style in the Crucible, that's for sure. And if not, you know, just go to your knife. What you gonna do, you know? 
But anyway, uh, if you guys like the new content, uh, I'll be restarting this channel. It's going to be a lot more Destiny content than anything before. If you like it, click subscribe on the left hand of the screen. And like and share and all that other stuff that all the other YouTubers say. This has been Maverick Buddy, and I am out.